and I really could not have picked a better place for my training. This is absolutely a place where people who want to do well can thrive. This is definitely a supportive environment. I know that it's, it's a place where I feel welcome and it's a place where I belong. It's nice to know that you can come to a place and find your home. It's a fantastic teaching place, fantastic hospital. I love it. I don't think I could see myself doing anything else. I feel like I made a great decision coming here. So for anybody who comes to visit this campus, what they will immediately grasp is the energy in the place. It's hard to put it into words, but when you're here, you can actually feel it's palpable. The culture here is welcoming. It's a gigantic family. Everyone wants their neighbor to succeed. There's not a culture of competition here. Collaboration is really what everyone strives for. The students here are all committed to creating this environment so that we all can be great physicians in the future. I've never seen anything like this, where the students lift each other up and help each other. The mutually supportive atmosphere among all of our students, all of our trainees, is complemented by a faculty that has embraced this. Some institutions that are really large, you kind of get lost in that. But here, you have intimate relationships with the faculty, and they're really there to support you and mentor you. Students who come to the Long School of Medicine will find incredibly supportive culture. I feel like the Long School of Medicine is pretty diverse. You can find people from anywhere, everywhere, every color, age, background, where they grew up, social, economic, and uh, I think they really stress that um, there is richness in, in having that sort of experience coming from everybody. There's been science to document that the more diverse research teams are, the more diverse your workplace settings are, um, the greater innovation that comes out of that diversity. Simply put is that we need to reflect our given society today. Our patient population is going to be diverse. So getting to learn that now and appreciate it and respect it just sets it up to be such a natural transition as we become physicians. I think the culture here is something that's been fostered over tons of years. It has a lot to do with our faculty. It's completely congruent with the culture of this city. San Antonio has such a unique culture and it's so rich in its culture and its history. And that's one thing I feel I have never gotten in other big cities in Texas. You're immediately accepted. The smiles are warm and friendly. People immediately reach out to you to welcome you. I fell in love with the food and the culture. I'd never had homemade flour tortillas before coming to San Antonio and they are unmatchable. They don't have them where I'm from, so. There's a lot of different options for fun things to do in San Antonio. There's different parks, just like city parks with running and jogging trails, uh, but really within driving distance, there's several nature parks, you know, the, the canyons and the rivers, different things to do very close. All the restaurants you could want, clubs, bars, everything is right there at our fingertips. And then 20 more minutes north, you're out in the hills again, in the wilderness. And you kind of hear about that southern hospitality, but come here and actually seeing it is what made me make the decision to stay here. And it's a great city for raising families. It's affordable, the public schools are good. There's lots of fun things to do with your family here. I'd say the mission of our curriculum design is to provide the foundation that any doctor is going to need. We need to make sure that that's there first and foremost. So about seven years ago, we completely revised our curriculum here at the Long School of Medicine. We call it the circle curriculum because every single clinical principle goes back to an underlying human physiologic function, goes back to an underlying gene function. We connect everything in human health from emotions to diseases to cells to genes in one circle. We unify it to make it more understandable for the medical student. And each year in the curriculum, everything you go through gets more and more interesting. And the more 
that you get a chance to see actual people and work with them, it becomes thrilling to see something work. We introduce medical students early on to patients because they need to know the diseases they're studying make a difference to individual humans. It's crazy to think that even in my first semester here at the Long School of Medicine, I had that opportunity to really help people, which is a really exciting experience for a first year, second year medical student. The programs that this school has empower students to go out into the community and learn firsthand how to treat patients of vulnerable populations and how to work with people who've had a little bit of a rough go in life. So for both our residents and our medical students, our two partner hospitals, our University Health System and the Veterans Administration Hospital, and they're both wonderful hospitals. They serve different populations that complement each other. So you as a medical student or resident will get the largest possible experience. You'll see diseases that are very far along and you'll prevent diseases. You'll learn about both prevention and treatment of the worst possible stage of a particular disease in the field you're interested in. I would say that we have hospital-based programs, we have medically-based programs and surgically-based programs, and each and every one of them is outstanding. And we have other key other relationships, which includes the MAIDS Cancer Center, and we also rotate a significant number of our trainees to the military training centers here in the city. In fact, we train in a remarkable variety of locations, which I think, again, distinguishes us from many other institutions. Long School of Medicine is moving forward in all directions. Now there are over $300 million of research on the campus. The practice plan is growing at 10% per year. The research is growing at 10% per year. The students and the faculty are voting with their feet in that they're flocking here. They see what we have here and they want to be here to be a part of it. So if you want to be trained in the very best way, uh, this is a great place to come. But if you want to do it in an atmosphere that is a no kidding, sincere, authentic, we care about you atmosphere, then this place has that too.